Good afternoon, everyone. We're going to get started. My name is Jim Scanlon. I'm general counsel to the Chicago Board of Election Commissioners. And I want to welcome you to the program this afternoon, How to Navigate the Candidate Petition Challenge Process. Now, when I was originally putting this together, I thought about naming it How to Survive the Candidate Petition Challenge Process. But that wouldn't really be accurate. Because for every successful objector, there's going to be an unsuccessful candidate. And for every successful candidate, there's going to be an unsuccessful objector. Somebody's going to win. Somebody's going to lose. Not everyone is going to survive, at least politically. Hopefully, physically, you'll do fine. But there are uh, political losers in this process, unfortunately. What we're going to do is cover just the process, the procedural issues. Uh, I'm not going to get into any substantive questions or issues. So if you have a question about residency, you're going to have to save that question for another day. There are a number of materials that I just want to tell you about in the very beginning. Uh, first of all, each of you should have received a pamphlet with the Chicago Board of Election Commissioners seminar. And there is a PowerPoint presentation attached to the cover sheet. And the PowerPoint we will go through on the screen this afternoon. Hopefully, this will serve as a, uh, an effective outline for the items that we want to discuss. There are also a copy of the rules of procedure of the Chicago Board of Election Commissioners for electoral boards. Now, this document is being handed out as Mark's sample. This is a copy of the rules of procedure that were adopted by the Chicago Board of Election Commissioners when it last met as an electoral board in May of this year. And most of the procedures that are outlined in this document marked sample will likely be adopted when the board meets as an electoral board in December. I do not expect that the procedures will change uh, very much. In fact, they may be very, very, very similar to what you'll see in this document. There are a couple of other documents that you might find helpful. One is the 2011 election information pamphlet and calendar. This is a document that outlines some of the substantive requirements for running for office in the city of Chicago for 2011. It outlines the eligibility requirements for mayor, city clerk, city treasurer, and aldermen. It also outlines the minimum signature requirements for citywide offices. All three offices, the minimum signature requirement is 12,500. For aldermen, it's based on a formula, which I will not get into in any detail. But all you need to know is that the minimum signature requirements for aldermen in all of the city wards, 50 wards, are outlined on page 9 of this document. And it shows the minimum number of valid signatures required for each office. This is a document that is available on the board's website at chicagoelections.com. And it's labeled the 2011 election information pamphlet and calendar. So that document is readily available. There's also copies of this document up at the reception area on the sixth and eighth floors of the Board of Election Commissioners in this building. It also contains a number of key dates, and probably the dates that most of you in this room are interested in today are the filing dates for nomination papers for office in the city of Chicago. The first day for filing nomination papers is Monday, November 15th. 
and we will be open at 9 a.m. for the purpose of receiving and accepting candidate nomination papers. Uh, the actual filing is gonna take place in a room on this level around the corner. And so I would expect that if you're anticipating filing your nomination papers on Monday uh, and you wanna be uh, first in line, you'll, you'll have plenty of company down here on Monday. Uh, it's gonna be very crowded. Uh, but as long as you are in line as of nine o'clock, you are eligible for a lottery that will determine ballot order for anyone who is in line as of 9 a.m. The last day to file candidate nomination papers will be Monday, November 22nd at 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Anybody inside the door as of 5 p.m. will be allowed to file their nomination papers. Another key date is the last day to file an objection under Article 10 of the Election Code to someone's nomination papers. And the last day to file objections with the Chicago Board of Election Commissioners will be November 30th, Tuesday, November 30th at 5 p.m. Now, the State Board of Election also puts out a calendar an election calendar, and I believe it's on their website, and they will show the last day to file objections is December 1st. The reason for that is because they go by state holidays, and the day after Thanksgiving is a state holiday, so the State Board of Elections is closed that day. In the city of Chicago, the day after Thanksgiving is not a holiday. It is a business and working day with the Chicago Board of Election Commissioners. We will be open. And that's important because in calculating the number of days to file the objection, they have five business days, not calendar days, five business days. And the Friday after Thanksgiving will be a business day. I'm told on good information that the board will be closed on Thanksgiving. <laughs> I hope it will be. So do not attempt to file objections here on Thanksgiving Day. Go home, be with your family, and enjoy it. So those are the key dates you need to be reminded of. There's also a document called the Index of Electoral Board Decisions. And we have a limited supply of these printed out today. And the reason why we limited the number, two reasons. One, it's a very thick document. It's 80 pages. Uh, so you know, we're, we're killing a lot of forest with this process, and we don't want to kill more than we need to. This is a document that is on the board's website at chicagoelections.com. There's a tab for candidates at the very top and on the side. In that tab is a link for the Index of Electoral Board Decisions. This index is a summary by topic of decisions of the Chicago Board of Election Commissioners as an electoral board since 1980. Now, not every decision is listed here. We only selected those that have some significance to the topic discussed. But it's a fairly good outline. If you are interested in a specific subject, you can quickly go to the table of contents at the beginning of this document, and it's organized by topic. So you can go right to the page you're interested in. It'll have a short summary of important electoral board decisions on that subject. What we have new this year, thanks to our staff and thanks to Mr. Allen in the back who operates, among his many duties, he operates the board's website. What we've been able to do is put up a PDF copy of all of the board's electoral board decisions since 1980. 
They are all on the website. You will find them separately as a library, the library of electoral board decisions. So if you know the case number, you know the year, usually the first two digits of every electoral board decision sig signifies the year in which the decision was made. So if we have a uh, 87 EB ALD 146, that decision was rendered in 1987. And it's organized by year. You go in there, open it up, you can find it by case number. What's really nice is, is if you're in this index, all of the electoral board decisions in this index are hyperlinked to a copy of the decision itself. So there's a discussion in the index. If you want to see the full decision, you click the hyperlink, it will take you right to that document. I'm excited about that one. Because yeah. <laughs> we always get co calls here for copies of decisions. We try to make copies of a mail available to anyone who asks for them. But in the past, it's been printing them out, faxing them, or emailing. This not, it should be quick and easy. Quick and easy. So I want to thank Mr. Allen and, and his staff for doing this. I think it was a terrific project. And I think it's going to be very, very beneficial to everyone, including myself. So this document, the Index of Electoral Board Decisions, we do have limited supplies in the back. But the best way you can get this document is go on the internet, chicagoelections.com. You've got an electronic version hyperlinked to every decision.